I'm delighted to be joined by Blake Hutchins, co-manager of the Troy Income and Growth Trust. Blake, welcome. To begin with, it would be great if you could outline how we approach investing at Troy, but also more specifically, what you're trying to achieve for the Troy Income and Growth Trust. When it comes to equity income investing, we have quite a distinct approach at Troy. It's what I call a, a quality approach to income investing, a quality income growth uh, approach. Essentially, on the Troy Income and Growth Trust, it's, it's exactly the same. We're looking for uh, a certain type of company, a company that can grow in a resilient way whilst paying us and our shareholders uh, resilient growing dividends funded by the cash flow that these companies produce. You've obviously just talked a bit about what qualities you look for. Can you expand on that and maybe offer some examples of companies and sectors you tend to find those qualities in? I always take it back to the cash flow uh, a company generates. Um, and there's a lot of elements that go into cash flow, you know, whether that's a company's ability to grow in a predictable and resilient way over a long period of time to earn good profitability and good margins on those sales. And ultimately not to have heavy capital requirements and therefore profits can actually convert into cash flow. So what we're really looking for are a collection of companies that have that ability to compound and grow their cash flow uh, in a pretty predictable, resilient way over a long period of time. We're then looking for uh, management teams uh, that run these companies who understands capital allocation. We want these companies to generate that cash we want them to reinvest some of that cash back into the business for future growth. But also, and very importantly for Troy Income and Growth, we want management teams that are going to allocate a proportion of that cash flow back to us in the form of a growing dividend. And so growing cash flows produce growing dividends if these companies and these cash flows are managed well by good managers. Now, you did ask what companies and which sectors are most likely to produce these growing cash flows and growing dividends. Well, we're very specific as to where we think um, areas of the market which are able to do that over a long period of time and those that are actually not. Um, it won't surprise our shareholders when they look at our portfolio. We have a heavy weighting to consumer staples. Um, we long have had that uh, allocation. These companies are highly resilient. They produce everyday items that, are, that, are, that tend to be bought in a predictable way, they produce that cash flow, they produce that dividend. Uh, over time, we've also found great opportunities in the software and data sectors. So big companies in the UK like Relex, for example, uh, highly cash generative, highly profitable growing business, producing very, very resilient and recurring dividends. Now, just as importantly, uh, there are areas of the market that we don't tend to invest in. And this is very much aligned with the Troy approach to investing those areas of the market that are very capital intensive, very cyclical, we do not think are the best places to go uh, for this uh, dependable dividend growth that the trust seeks. Thanks, Blake. 